Welcome back, everybody. We're back here in Foundation. Um, remember, Super Alpha. Um, also, I'm not sure when this video is going out, but then maybe even the game is on Steam now. So we've got like, we've got kind of like a good little little bit of our town. Um, we've got Castle Clarkenstein down here, and some people are getting sad that one of the towers is a little bit higher. Um, and I think. Oh, I thought we could edit it, but apparently not. So, um, one's a little bit higher. Gotta deal with that. You either get the good tower or the bad tower. Uh, we've got our beautiful church over here with its flickery door. Beautiful. And the town is growing. Um, already, someone's had to set up house outdoors. They live here, just like right outside the wall. And these guys are really close to that gateway, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but, it's okay, we've got money in the bank. Someone's upgraded their house, apparently. Uh, let's let's get some more territory. Blammo. Uh, actually, we could buy like two plots if we wanted. Do we want like one behind? Yeah, let's just spend all of our cash. That does now mean that we can't actually buy any buildings. She. Um, but, sure. Is that good? I think so. Uh, and we want like a little, a little small light stone wall. To go like this. Um, you join in there, and you join in there. See the grounds of Castle Clarkenstein. It's a it's a little bit wonky, but you know what? I don't mind. Uh, we'll we'll add some more trees, trees and shit uh, in a bit. Can we just like budge you? There we go. Actually, wait, the castle's really wonky, isn't it? Compared to <laughs> the box. But I think... Can we... It's fine. We're just going to have to deal with Castle Wonkenstein, um, as it will now be dubbed. And let's just get some other stuff on the go. We've got a little bit of money. And residential. All of this can be residential. Oh yeah, like part of it we can't even use. Um, but if you guys want to live out here, go for it. How many people have we got? 84. And we are running low on berries. We might need, need a few more like berry boys to uh, collect up. Okay, perfect. Right. All of this can now be houses. Um, and we want people to be able to get some wood around here. You know, it's the wood district. Go and do a bit of harvesting. Perfect. Great. So now woodcutters have got somewhere to go. People can make some houses over here. We'll add some like plants and shit, so uh, they can they can be a bit happier about it. And what is our population doing right now? We have a lot of people with no jobs. I think we're gonna have to say no more immigrants allowed in for the time being, um, as we just don't have jobs for anyone. And people are sad. We need more. We need more berry, berry people. Uh, but we can do that. Sure. Okay, right. We'll, we'll just blip down two little gathering camps for now. Uh, hopefully that will increase our berry, berry supplies. Um, how many have we got down here? Is there anyone? I thought we'd place the second one in this, this part. But... We can do that now. Uh, because berries are in hot demand. And uh, people are going to get really, really sad if they can't get, get their berry supply, their berries on. Um, what else do we need before we move on to our next stuff? Um, we need more sheep farmers, actually. Could get, like, some more sheep farms. Maybe, like, down here? Yeah, why not? Why not? Sheep farm. 50 bucks. Uh, they can be outside of the walls. We don't want them. We don't want them like in the city, as otherwise they're gonna they're gonna like sheep up the place, and that's that's not what we're after. Perhaps it won't be that bad. Perfect. 
berries, they're done. Oh, okay, so there's Mary, Marie, and Mail 1660. Oh, uh, he's my, he's one of my favorites. Okay, we basically like doubled our amount of berry users, uh, berry makers, um, collectors. You know what I mean. And that should help quite a bit. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to save up for is we want to get like a like a mine set up. So around here we are able to put boom iron mines. Uh, this guy, hundred bucks. Oh shit! We just we just spent all of our money somehow. I think we had to pay some upkeep on something. So we've got this like rich weekly profit. Um, and man, we are just nowhere near that. Like, our money bounces around way too fast. I think as soon as that we can start making our own tools, and we don't have to buy anything, and then we can just start selling a load of stuff, pow, we did it. Um, then we should be, we should be okay. Because we want to get, like, more, more wool so we can make more clothes and sell more stuff uh, to other people. Also, I guess, like, we sell clothes to our own, own guys. How are you doing? What are you missing? Tools. Shit, did we already tell them to stop buying tools? We might have done. On the old... Trade. Trade resources. Yeah. We need to, we need to buy, buy more tools. Um, that's fine. We buying anything else? No, we're just, we're just selling some stuff. That's okay. Right, okay, everyone's kind of like zooming around. No one's really moved into like the new area yet, but I think we need like some more markets and stuff. Ah, oh, perfect, some turned up. So how many do we need per thing? 10, jeez. What do they need so many tools for? Like, well, I guess maybe like shearing, shearing the sheep. And I don't want Anna, I want this. You need 10 tools as well. Shit the bed. We need, we need a lot of tools. So I guess this will be known as like the sheep gate. It's where like you come out and there's always sheep. Um, I guess this will be like, you know, lead down miner's lane over here. Maybe we can even have like some some walling around this too. So we don't want bandits to come and like raid our mine. That's gonna that's gonna be really bad. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. I guess we can sell more bread. We're not selling much and we've got shitloads in the bank. 20 bread. Who's buying bread? These guys. One bread for 10 gold. Perfect. Oh, sheep farm. It's done. Right, Pierre's sheep farm. And we won't go too nuts, but we will... Actually, wait, that maybe is a bit too nuts. We'll remove some. But Pierre, holy shit. You've got to keep your sheep, like, out of the, out of the city. We're going to get complaints from the neighbours. Pierre, seriously. They're everywhere. Uh, and maybe we want like even want like another weavers. Weavers hut, right here, right on the edge. We want you to be like close, close to like the source. You know, locally sourced produce. That's like our whole, whole sort of like gambit, isn't it? Bam! Iron mine completed. How many people can work in the iron mine? Mail two two seven, reporting for duty. Man, it's like a kind of like horrible like slave slave colony now. Um, Harry works here. Oh, it's Harry. And you have some sheep too. So that should like revolutionize our sort of like, I don't know, weaving industry. And these guys hopefully are, uh, well, wool, wool industry. And then these guys are going to make, make more things. Perfect. Okay, right. Because we've got more jobs. Let the immigrants back in. Immigration, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm fine with that. Why is no one moving in this side yet? Do we need to get like... Oh shit, with like minus money, not not good money. Um, like a gathering market? Sure. Oh, which way around? Okay, that was the right way around. Right way around. Uh, and then a... well? Right here too. Yep. And maybe just like 
we'll just make a nice little blob of decorative bushes around here. That'll make people like real hot to come and come and stay. Um, bread market and the other kind of market, clothes market, when we can afford it. Perfect. And they can have like a few more decorative bushes because we learned the power gamer's choice. There we go, look, houses, they're coming down now. Okay, so that's all running pretty smoothly. So then next up, we need to get, we've got our iron mine running. So then this needs to be turned into like, we need a coal hut and we need a smelter. So I guess like a coal hut, this can all be sort of outdoors. Like this could be just outside the town, but they might get their own like sub wall. Um, an iron smelter. Right beside that. And then last of all, blacksmith. Perfect. Just get all of this stuff built. And then we can, man, everyone is upgrading their houses. What, what just happened? Why is everyone <laughs> just getting on the super upgrade? Oh shit, although they like smashed their house and then, then they're rebuilding it. So my walls are not gonna be perfect anymore. So that's what happened? That isn't how I left it. Oh. Oh my god. What's going on here? Holy shit. Look how much money we're making. What the hell? Is this from like our uh, uh, sheep industry? <gasps> oh man, that house looks so much fucking cooler. Okay, that's pretty good. Although if people are upgrading their houses, I'm going to have to upgrade my house. Ooh. Village roots. Villagers have reached a new status. Bourgeoisie. Holy shit, like, look at that fucking money. Coal hut is built. Uh, right, how many people can work there? Hey, we did it! Holy shit, quest complete! What a bunch of pros. That's, that's amazing. Um, wow, I didn't, I didn't think we were going to do that. Like, our money has been so bad for so long that I just assumed that it was never going to work. Wow, so it's been over a year. Like, this is how far we've come in a year. That's pretty good. I'm quite like, quite happy with, quite happy with how things are going. Um, bread's good, berries are good. We've got some tools. So, the moment this gets set up and we can start making our own tools, then we just get a whole load more mines and then we'll have infinite tools. Um, logs is a problem, or planks. But we'll we'll tackle like the wood situation just after this. I'm kind of I'm gonna buy like that little bit of territory. Just cause then we can include more in our, our zone. Oh I've got money. Do we just like buy that too? Sure. Sure, why not? The blacksmiths. The blacksmith's done. Perfect. Female 142 and female 1229 reporting for duty. Get in there. Start making me some tools. Uh, blacksmith's going. Um, these guys are all good. Right. Then we want, like, down here, a forester's camp. And maybe, like, over here as well. Okay. Oh, shit. More people have upgraded. Okay. Those houses are pretty, pretty nice, actually. This is, like, definitely, like, a fancier part of town. Everyone wants to be like around the, the flower person, but no one wants to live there because of the hay fever problems. The man like that. Wow, everyone's super upgrading. Oh, we've unlocked the fountain. Holy shit. Oh, it's beautiful. How much does it cost though? 20 stone. That's fine. Do you want it right in the middle here? Sure. It's kind of blocking that shop a bit, but. I like it. Yeah, it's very close to the shops, but that's fine. That's okay. We're gonna get some in and around old Castle Clarkenstein. Okay, we're just gonna add a little bit of extra beauty around here 
in the shape of little dense uh, bush bush piles, um, just so more people want to build and then in turn hopefully move here. Uh, so some more people have come along. It's actually the, like one of the next things that is like getting a extra carpenters. Um, what am I looking for? I, I, I often like struggle at using this list. It's sawmill. That's what we're after. We'll have like a sawmill down here. Why not? Okay, we need we need just like a few more a few more peeps, and then we're good. People are like quickly moving in. All the houses are upgrading. This is this is perfect. Uh, we've got tons of tools. We've got a good amount of everything. It's just that sawmill. As soon as we get the sawmill together, then we should be we should be fine. Red is really going down. Um, maybe we can even stop trading quite so much. Um, quite so much bread because people are going to want it. Uh, and no trade on tools. There we go. Um, well, seeing as we've got so much money, I guess if we get more more treasuries. You out of the way. And we could have them like off, off to the side, just extra towns. Wait, can we have these? Oh, I guess they can't be too far from the main, main building, but yeah. One like that. Uh, and who cares how tall they are? We're already a bit wonky. At least they're kind of straight, which they are just so not. Yeah, get a couple of extra towers. Anything else? Like a little, little extension right out the back. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's kind. That's that's a thing. That's kind of fun. Um, do you want like the towers to have like extra extra guys? I think the answer is yes. Uh, I don't know. So like the kids, the kids can each have a tower. Um, that's like often a good thing. Um, and more. Like, we can adjust the walls later, uh, make it line up a bit better. But that's all pretty, pretty fancy. Um, yeah, okay, right. Like this. Perfect. Uh, although, I want like a few more, few more bigger buildings. Yeah, one that shit like the fountains in the way. We can have to like move the fountain later, but something like that, and like that's just like little extension on each one of these. Oh, and banners. We never put banners down before, did we? How much is this going to cost us? Two hundred and fifty stone, eighty-five tools. That's fine. Boom! Start construction. And... Sorry, Fountain. You're gone. So I think everyone, like, upgrading their houses is actually stealing resources that could be used for me to upgrade my house. And... Not sure how I feel about that. Like, not super good, to be honest. Um, that's... Those are my resources. I know you guys are the ones that mined them, but I was the one that told you to mine them. So stop hogging. Uh, like I need, I need my house to be the fanciest. It's like a business thing, you know. Like, like you have to have like a fast car to uh, impress potential clients. Uh, one villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Who the fuck was that? Two villagers leaving due to unhappiness. Two people joined the village. We're like the happiest we've ever been. Has lacked berries recently, has lacked water recently. Um, 
Shit, does, is that because... They can't get... Is it like some areas too dense? It's so dense. Like, we can we can give you like an extra camp. Like, there we go. It's sort of like a little gathering place. Um, over here, would that help? Like, we'd be chill if you... Villager leaving due to unhappiness. Uh oh, this is bad because we need we need our employees. Um, and then let's just get some more wells. Okay, so everything seems to be running pretty smoothly in the town. Um, we've kind of capped out a bit on things that we can do. Um, we are now hemorrhaging money, and people aren't as happy as they once were. But we do have a little bit of everything. We've got some like farms. We've got some sheep. We've got a mine that's slowly making us more and more tools. All we need to do now is just finish the refurb on Castle Clarkenstein and let some other people move in. Let's just go to a lovely gentle time lapse of that happening. Bam! And it's done! Holy shit. Castle Clarkenstein has never looked better than it does right now. What a time to be alive. I guess the only thing left for us to do is we've got to add some fountains. Bam. Bam. And you know what? Maybe, just maybe, we clip one real nicely into this wall. So the kids have got somewhere to come and play. <laughs> Please don't walk through my fountain. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think... I reckon we're probably just about done. This area will fill up. Man, oh shit, that, that place looks amazing actually. I'm, I'm pretty hot for that. Uh, so this has been Foundation. Um, when it's been updated and is a bit further out, uh, remember, this is super, super alpha. Alpha 0.1. So uh, I think I think there's a long, a long way for it to come. But it's really good. I'd definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I, I super like it. Um, well, until next time, everybody. Farewell.